Hello nail lovers. Today I'm going to do a winter design that I have seen floating about the internet for a couple weeks now and a couple people have asked how to do it so I thought I'll make a video. So I've painted this nail in Gelux gel polish. This is Butterfly Blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. I put two coats of that on and a layer of no wipe top coat. I'm going to decant a small amount of this onto a little palette and then I'm going to take a fine detailing brush this is a Kalinsky size 0 brush I got it off Amazon so I'm going to go ahead and draw on the cable knitted jumper effect it's a little bit difficult to see because you're doing the same color onto the painted nail. But if you angle your your nail or your client's nail, you'll be able to see where the design is. So I saw this one quite a lot and I thought, gosh, that looks really difficult. But honestly, I tried it earlier and it's not that difficult. You just do these little patterns the whole way down the nail. And just angle it so you can see what the hell you're doing. like so. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. The way that I'm going to show you today is using acrylic powder. Lines down either side. And get a wee dotting tool. Okay, so now you've got that. We're going to leave it there. I'm not going to cure it. I'm going to take some acrylic powder. This is clear acrylic powder. And I'm going to scoop some onto the wet gel. So remember there was a no wipe top coat on there before so the powder is not going to stick to the no wipe top coat. It's only going to stick to the wet gel. Like so. So whenever you're doing anything like this where you're sprinkling glitter or acrylic powder or corn flour onto wet gel, you have to do it a couple of times because the powder or the glitter is going to get absorbed into that gel and then it's going to have a wet layer on top of that as the powder or the glitter sinks down into it. So you want to reapply it a couple of times and just make sure that it's really saturated with the powder. Once you're happy, then just give it a tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to put that in the light to cure. I'm going to go for two minutes in my LED light. I would normally only do 60 seconds, but because it has powder in it, I want to make sure that all of the gel is cured. So I'm going to go for 120 seconds. Okay, so here we go. I've taken this out of the light. I'm just going to get a wee brush. Dusty, dusty. All of the acrylic powder off. And there you have it. Focus.
it's a cool little effect. It's not real rough to touch, but it is a bit raised. Yeah, I like this look. So have a go. Let me know if you have any problems and give me a shout if you have anything else that you would like me to show you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.